So as far as we can tell, Congressman Eric Swoyle dearly loves two things, having unnatural sex with Chinese spies and riding camels in the Middle East with no shirt on. So we've got some news for Congressman Swalwell tonight. The Super Bowl of camels is currently underway in the United Arab Emirates. This is Al Dafra Festival. It's the Super Bowl of camel pageantry. Each December, 25,000 camels descend on this remote area of the UAE's western region. Their owners come here from across the Gulf, each with the hope their camels will be crowned most beautiful. Like beauty contestants, winning camels attract huge fan bases. Some camels have their own hashtags on Instagram, and fans will even write poems about their beauty. Famous camels also attract many high cash offers. So you may not think camels are beautiful, but a lot of people in the region do. The problem is not all camels are beautiful. So some of them get plastic surgery. Now, right across the border in Saudi Arabia, there's a camel beauty pageant underway right now, and a number of camels have been caught getting Botox and touch-ups. Is this appropriate for the dromedary community? Is it ethical to give your camel plastic surgery? We've gone right to the source on this. Forrest Galante is a wildlife biologist. He joins us tonight. Forrest, thanks so much uh, for coming on. So let's say you have a camel through no fault of his own who's just unusually yeah. unattractive, and you think, I'm going <laughs> to fix this with a lip tuck or an ear pin. Sure. They can't give consent. Should that be allowed? Well, Tucker, you could ask the same question about your dog at home, right? Yeah. Your dogs get crop tails, they get their ears pinned, and that's not Fair. making news. So Fair. it's basically Fair. the same thing. It's, it's a pet that you're altering. You know, you make a really wise and common sense point that I'm ashamed to say never occurred to me. Now, yeah. <laughs> How unattractive, because I think from the Western perspective, camels all kind of look the same. Do you see a sure. wide variety in camel aesthetics? Oh, absolutely. It's, again, going back to the pet analogy, it's just like your dog at home. Some people have beautiful dogs, show quality dogs. Right. Others are less fortunate, you know. Here's the thing, Tucker. I live in Southern California, so I've seen... Uh, you know, humps that have been enlarged and lips that have been blown up basically every day where I live. So it's not the most unnatural thing in the world over here. And now we're, we're pointing it out as being a problem over there on camels. And it's, it's kind of a little double edge there. Uh, that is such a smart point. Don't tell me they're getting hump implants in Saudi Arabia, though. Oh, uh, well, you know, different, different kinds of humps. But that is a thing that they're doing for their camels over there. They are doing Botox fillers on the lips. They're stretching things. They're inflating the humps. Um, they're doing all kinds of different plastic surgeries to try and enhance the beauty and the aesthetic of these camels. Because the prize money is huge, by the way, millions and millions of dollars. Can they, really quick, I don't have a ton of camel experience, but some horrible <laughs> personalities on a camel, nastiest animal God yeah. created. Can they, can they fix that? <laughs> No, uh, you know, that, they are typically jerks. They really are. You're not yeah. wrong about that. But every now and then you get a sweetheart. And if you ask me, they're all beautiful. If you, if you draw the short end of the stick and you get an ugly camel, love it for its personality. Forrest Glancy really sorting out one of the naughtiest problems <laughs> in the Middle East tonight. We appreciate your coming on. Thank you so much.